well, we're back in the wild woods. I've been watching this little bird's nest, little bird box. It's not a bird's nest because there's nothing in it. This little bird box for uh, a few weeks now. It intrigues me because it's so low and because its entrance is so big. And around the edges, some squirrel or rat has been gnawing at it. And it's empty and I, I have to say, uh, I'm not really surprised. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take any refuge there myself, too close to the ground and uh, too easy for others to access. There's another little bird box here and um, I've been watching that one as well. That's a little bit higher up. I think I could, I think that would be a good place to find refuge, a good place to escape and uh, to make a home and uh, when trouble comes to find a place to hide uh, when when things get difficult. Now, human beings, well, we have our little houses, but are they are they refuge from the world? Yeah, but for our souls. Hmm. Uh, Psalm 27, King David uh, says says this. One thing I ask. This is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me on a high rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. He concludes... Let me straighten this page out. He concludes, I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart and wait for the Lord. There's times like this when we need to be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Uh, but in doing so, where do we take refuge? Well, the temple that David was talking about is long gone. It, uh, it was torn down uh, many thousands of years ago. It was built by Herod and in Jesus' day, but then it was torn down again and there's only a, a wall left. But then we're told that the Church of Christ is a, a living temple and so the Church can be a place of refuge. But Jesus himself says, I am a temple. He says to people surprised one day, tear down this temple, I'll rebuild it in three days. And by that he was talking about his body. Jesus Christ himself is a place of refuge, a temple, a place where we meet with God and we can know him. And so as we live in these days, well, I don't think it would do much good to go to Jerusalem, even if we could get there. And... Uh, the church is broken up and separated because of the impositions upon us, though we're doing our best to speak to each other and to FaceTime each other or to Zoom each other, whatever we're doing, to try and keep that uh, connection going and that support going. But then we could always turn to Jesus Christ and find in him our refuge. He ends with, I'm convinced I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Well, when we put our refuge in Jesus Christ, he gives us great hope. Who are you putting your refuge in? Well, from me and my friend, who's a little bit damp, you're a little bit damp, and he's ready for breakfast and for home. Have a good day. God bless you and keep you, and cause his face to shine upon you, and give you peace.